Hi fellow guitar slingers, Josh Rogers here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This video is going to be discussing the X and Y options that are available to you within the AX8. It's a great feature. One of the most powerful in my opinion and getting to know it and getting to understand it uh, is the way that you're going to unlock a huge amount of potential uh, within the AX8. Question number one, what is XY switching? XY switching allows you to have two different sounds coming out of the same block. If we select the amp block and we come to the left, you'll see that there's an X and Y. At the moment it's on X and this is the setting for all of the parameters that are available. If we move to Y, the same set of parameters will come up, but you can change these however you like that will give you two different sounds coming out of a single block, this block here. Question number two, which blocks or effects have or don't have XY switching? Let's go through from beginning to end. Amp, cab, chorus, compression, delay, drive, filter, flanger, gate, expander, multi-delay, phaser, pitch, reverb, rotary, tremolo panner, and the wah-wah. Those are all of the effects that have an X and Y option. The second half of question number two, which effects or blocks don't have XY switching? Enhance, formant, FX loop, graphic EQ looper, parametric EQ, Ring Modulator, Synth, Volume Panner. Question number three, how do you switch from X to Y and vice versa? There's a couple of ways that you can do this. Select your block and down here on the left, it's a simple matter of clicking from X to Y. If we're on X, you'll be able to edit anything in the X setting and when you move to Y you'll be able to adjust any parameters in the Y setting. The other way to do it is to go back to your block, hover over the top of it and right click on your mouse and you'll have this little option here, toggle XY. If you need to see the status you can see it up in the left hand corner of each block. Currently on AMP it's in the X setting and that's reflected down here and if we toggle XY, then you'll see that the right upper hand corner of the block, it's Y, and that's also reflected down here in the window. Question number four. For me, this is the most important question of all. Why use XY switching? What benefits does it have? The best way that I know is to think about when I was young and just starting out playing guitar, especially in a band, school bands and that kind of thing, I only had a couple of pedals. I think from memory I had a Boss Metal Overdrive and a Wah Wah pedal. That was about it. And I recall, you know, I really liked the sound that I had, but when it would come to solos, I couldn't make it any louder. That was pretty much it. I had two options. One was to run back to my amp and turn the volume up and the second option was to bend down and turn up the level on my uh, metal zone. So quite often I went for the latter, I'd just bend down, I'd quickly turn the level up, do my solo and then turn it down. That was the reality, that was my reality back then. I couldn't afford any other way to make my volume go up or down. Getting back to the AX8 and how XY switching can work for you in a practical sense Let's look at this amp. At the moment it's on the X setting and it's 59 bass guy. Here's all the settings you can see. If we move across to the Y setting, think about that as like another channel. So with this one, I may want to pump the drive up a little. That's me. There you go. Let's go to mount face. Now, I have the same amp, 59 bass guy but I've got the Y setting, which gives me a, 
a lot more drive, melt facing drive actually. And then if we go back to X, it's at a far more sedate five setting. The same thing applies for all the effects that have XY switching. Earlier I said that, you know, we're using the same amp, but the amazing thing with this is that if we come down here, the X setting, we've got the 59 bass guy. So let's say for all intents and purposes, 59 bass guy was cool for one particular sound that you had, but you needed something else. With the Y option, you can actually change the amp that you're using. For someone like me, that's just amazing. You know, you've got two completely different amps that you can choose. So let's just click on the vibro verb. That means in my Y setting, I have a different amp, an entirely different amp with an entirely different set of characteristics. Vibro verb AB, and back in the X, it's the 59 bass guy. Truly, truly amazing. If we go back to the X, we have high ultra res, just a single cabinet here with a tiny little baby speaker, one by six. And then we change and we bring out the big guns. Now we're running in stereo. We've got the same cabinet that we had before, the one by six, but we've added into the right channel a meaty 4x12. I think that's about as far as I'd have to go with trying to prove how amazing the XY switching feature is, but I'm going to carry on because now we can move into the pedals. The pedals also open up a, a huge amount of options. There are three effects that will allow you to have up to four of each effect, four different versions of each effect. So those three effects are drive, filter, and delay. I don't know why you might like to have all that, but I just thought I'd include it because it is quite fascinating, I think, to be able to have so many options uh, within a single preset. So you could, if you wanted to, have four different drives, four different filters, and four different delays. If you add the multi-tap in, then you've got five different delays to choose from. <laughs>